In this tutorial, you will learn my top 10 clever tripod tricks that will help take your filmmaking to the next level. Let us begin. We are control. You will be assimilated or you will be eliminated. Not while I'm still in town. Number one, the rubber band method. Panning and tilting on a tripod manually can cause for jerky camera movements. It's really difficult to get that silky smooth pan or tilt when operating the tripod strictly with your hand. If you have the money, a gear head or a fluid head can help take care of this problem. But if you don't have the money, for something like this, the rubber band method significantly helps capture that silky smooth movement that you are after. It especially helps when coming to the stop of your shot. The rubber band reduces the sudden stop factor. Using a rubber band acts as a shock absorber, allowing you to stabilize the camera movement. You might even need to use more than one rubber band, depending on the size of the band or even the weight of the camera. The pan. Keep some drag or tightness in the handle. Can you see the difference when you don't have any drag on the tripod? Without any drag, you have nothing to balance out the pull from the rubber band. Here's a shot with the rubber band method. And here's a shot without the rubber band. The tilt. Using the rubber band method with the tilt is a little trickier than with the pan. When you tilt up and down, the weight of the lens can affect the speed of the camera movement. You'll need to play around with the correct amount of drag so when you're tilting up or down, you'll have control of the camera. You might even need to add a rubber band counterweight to control the speed of the camera. Here's a shot with the rubber band method, and here's a shot without the rubber band. The zoom. The rubber band can even help with your zoom shots. I notice when I use my hand for my zoom shots, I have a hard time getting a silky smooth zoom in or zoom out. The rubber band can help you by getting your hand off the zoom, and the shock absorption of the band will help stabilize the zoom. Here's a shot with the rubber band method, and Here's a shot without the rubber band. Number two, gravity. Allow gravity to do the tilt for you. You'll have to play around with the amount of drag to increase or decrease the speed. When the camera starts tilting down, it will pick up speed. To keep the tilt from speeding up, you will need to intervene somehow. Some people use their hand as a counterweight to control the speed, but I've found that this can cause jerky movements. To help reduce this, use that same rubber band to act as a shock absorber. Number three, the Steadicam tripod. If you don't have a video stabilizer, you can turn the tripod into one. It can be used as a counterweight to help stabilize your footage. You'll want to extend the legs of the tripod to find the balance of the camera. You can even position the legs outwards to add additional stability. Here's a shot with the tripod as a steady cam, and here's one without it. Number four, the two-legged tripod. Raising one of the legs of the tripod will allow you to get some great dolly in or dolly out camera shots. You might need to find some sort of weight to put at the base of the legs so they don't slip out from underneath you. Something as simple as a backpack will do. Number five, the monopod. You can also turn your tripod into a monopod. This will allow you to get some great crane-like or jib-like shots, allowing you to dolly in or out while moving left or right with it as well. Number six, the upside down steady cam. Make sure the camera is securely fastened before you even try this tripod trick. Turn the tripod upside down and the weight from the camera will stabilize the footage. Your footage is upside down, but all you have to do is bring this footage into an editing software program like Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro CC. Drop the footage into the timeline
and under the transform tool, choose vertical flip, and there you go. Here's a shot with a modified tripod, and here's a shot without the tripod. Can you see the difference between these two? Number seven, the shoulder rig. For the shoulder rig, simply take the tripod legs, put them together, and place them over your shoulder while having the camera face outwards. Be careful not to hit anyone with the legs if you are making turns. This will allow you to get some great stabilization from your body. Here's a shot with a modified tripod, and here's a shot without the tripod. Number eight, the two shoulder shoulder rig. If you're looking for even more stability, put two of the legs over your shoulders and use a third leg as a handle. This modified tripod will allow you to get great control over your camera in the video footage that you are filming. Here's a shot with a modified tripod and here's a shot without the tripod. Number nine, the drone shot. What you want to do here is to extend the legs on the tripod as far as they can go, and then you hoist it up into the air. This will allow you to get a really nice aerial perspective. Keep note though, if you have a heavy camera and lens, controlling the movements of the tripod will be more difficult. Number 10, the selfie shot. For this shot, you want to face the camera towards you and extend the camera legs to the length that you want them to be. Put the tripod legs into your hips. This will give you a generic version of a Snorri cam. A Snorri cam is basically a harness with a camera attached to you, with the camera pointing towards you. You see this type of shot a lot with outdoor video clips. It gives you a great alone the wilderness type vibe. Because the camera is facing towards you, if you don't have automatic focus on, you're going to have to have someone else there with you to manually focus the camera. Well, there you have it. My top 10 clever tripod tricks that will help take your filmmaking to the next level. Try using some of these tripod tricks in your next video and I'm looking forward to seeing some of the results. Thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for the next James Gang tutorial. Please move on to the following assimilation tutorial. Begin now.